Hi guys, it's Simmer Deb. Welcome to part 11 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. In the last episode, Abby got her revenge on Pam Carnegie when she kicked her butt <laughs> in, re in retaliation for the time that Pam kicked Abby's butt. And now Abby and Brandon are just hanging out at Abby's new house. It looks like Brandon is doing his homework. And Abby is feeling hungry, so she's going to go ahead and cook for the very first time. She's going to cook mac and cheese. And let's hope that she does not burn the mac and cheese. And it is raining outside. I just saw some lightning. And Abby did booby trap the bathroom sink. So we'll have to watch Brandon and see if he um, falls for that trick. And it looks like Brandon is thinking about bedtime. I don't know if that means he's sleepy. It's just 7 o'clock. Or if it means that he's wanting to woohoo with Abby. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But we're going to let Abby go ahead and cook. And this is the very first time she's ever cooked anything. <laughs> so I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm expecting her to burn it, in all honesty. That's usually what happens the very first time a Sim cooks. They usually burn the food. So we'll just see how this turns out. Just kind of speed through it a little bit. She wants to buy a water slide. We're not going to be doing that. Set. Oh, hey, look. It looks like that she actually did a good job on the mac and cheese. She's going to call guests to meal. So that Brandon can come and eat. Come and eat, Brandon. And now, of course, she'll have to get another serving out. Because that's the way it works for some weird reason. So we'll just go ahead and stick this one in the fridge so she can eat it later. And we'll go ahead and help out and put that in the fridge, too. Mm. And here they are sharing their mm. very first meal together in Abby's brand mm. new home. Mm. And Abby is really mm. crazy about Brandon. And she kind of wants to ask him to move in with her. However, she's not really sure if Brandon would say yes at this point. Because, you know, Brandon seems to come from a loving family from what Abby knows of it. And he might not be really willing to take off on his own. I don't know. Because he knows that Abby has been having a lot of money problems. And he knows how hard she's had it, being on her own. So she's kind of hesitant to ask him to move in at this point because she's afraid that he will reject her and say no. And she's talking about how her athletic skill really helped her to, to beat Pam Carnegie's butt. <laughs> and Brandon's like, yeah, it did. And Brandon's thinking that, you know, Maybe they should go out and collect some gems so that they can make sure that they have the money to pay for Abby's mortgage on her house. Speaking of, we need to check really fast and make sure that we don't have any bills that we need to pay. We do not have any bills at the moment that we need to pay. Let's just see. Abby's cleaning up really quick, and it looks like Bran is going to help her. And then I think they might do a With little bit of woohoo. And she's also getting kind of tired. But as soon as Brandon puts that dish up, um, she's going to give him a kiss. And she might even go for a little risky woohoo. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do you think she should do a risky woohoo with Brandon? She really loves him with all her heart. And she sees a real future with this guy. She's really young, but at the same time, she also feels kind of alone. You know, well, she feels very alone when Brandon's not here because her mother is gone, and she and her mother were really close. She's gonna go ahead and do it. She's going to try. She's not going to try for a baby, no. But she is going to have a risky <laughs> woohoo with Brandon. You know, things happen in the heat of the moment. Hormones are racing, and sometimes you're a little bit more careless than what you need to be. Now, this risky woohoo chance is set very low at 10%. 
So there's a 90% chance that nothing will happen due to this risky woohoo. Just letting you know that probably more than likely nothing is going to happen here. So, there you go. <laughs> but they are going to go ahead and have a risky woohoo. And Abby is probably more than likely going to go to sleep after this because she is really tired. Even though it's only 8.30 in the evening. And she did not go to sleep, so let's do it again. <laughs> let's just see if she can do it again. Um, romantic. They can take a romantic photo together. If she goes here, let's have her go here. And then we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. And she's going to go ahead and risky woohoo with Brandon again. <laughs> and she's crying again because she's thinking about her mother. And how she wishes that her mother could have met Brandon. Because she knows that her mother really would have liked Brandon. Because Brandon has been such a good friend and got such a good boyfriend to Abby. You know, he's always there to listen to her uh, whenever she has a problem. She has confided her entire life to Brandon at this point. And he has always understood, always been understanding, and always tried to comfort her and let her know that he's there to protect her if ever she should need protection. Protecting from, uh, you know, her stepfather or anyone else for that matter. And she is really sleepy. And Brandon looks like he's sleepy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have her go here. And then she's going to ask Brandon to um, go to sleep also. Because I have a mod in. I don't think he'll go to sleep by himself. And he's obviously sleepy. Wait, he is going to go to sleep by himself. Okay, well that's good. But I also have this mod in um, that will let her ask him to come and sleep next to her uh, but don't need to do that because he did decide to go ahead and go to sleep so what I'm going to do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and let them sleep and I'll be right back when they wake up okay it is six o'clock in the morning and Abby is awake and <laughs> she's feeling nauseous guys she did risky woohoo twice and now she's starting to think that maybe that was not such a good idea after all um and i don't think she's going to be risky woohooing again anytime soon if it turns out that she's not pregnant but normally <laughs> when sims get this nauseous moodlet after a risky woohoo that usually means that they are expecting a baby so we'll just have to wait and see whether or not Abby is expecting a child. And she's starting to get a little bit nervous. What are you doing, Abby? You're not Hold going up. to do that. You're uh -huh. gonna you'll wake Brandon up. Brandon is still tired. He's still sleeping. So get down off your soapbox. Put put your megaphone away. Um, let's see something. I don't even want you to have this megaphone. Actually, we're gonna go ahead and sell this megaphone for thirty three simoleons. Because we really don't need it. Do not wake him up with the megaphone. Which she can't do anyway because I just sold it. I sold it in the nick of time. Let Brandon alone. Let Brandon sleep. Brandon is tired. Okay? You would not be doing that. Anyway, she wants to go to the summer festival. She wants to make out with Brandon. And she wants to kiss Brandon. She still she wants to mock Pam. And uh, Abby's rebellious spell, whatever she was having, is over. So the wish that she had to prank Pam's house or prank someone has gone. However, because it is only 6 a.m., I'm wondering if Pam Carnegie might possibly be at home. And if she is, Abby is going to run over there and do a prank at Pam's house if Pam is home. She lives over here. The house highlighted in red. Good. Uh, she's going to do the flaming bag. That's what Abby's going to do. And let's hope that Abby can get her butt over there on her bicycle before um, the household wakes up and everybody leaves and she won't be able to prank the house. 
But let's hurry up, Abby. Let's get over there really fast before they leave. I hope she gets to do this because this will be really funny. And then afterward, um, maybe she and Brandon will go ahead and go to the summer festival like Abby wants to do. Here we go. Let's go. Okay. Where are you going? She's going to do it to the back door. Okay, look at her sneaking. There's Pam Carnegie. I see Pam Carnegie and a dog. Pam has a dog. We might just have to... Huh? We oh. might take that dog oh, away I'm from sorry. Pam. I don't know. I think we might. <laughs> I think we might become friends with that dog and take it away from Pam. Okay, there we go. Let's look. And it's Pam. Oh, that's Pam's mother, I guess, or sister or somebody. And nothing's happening with the flaming bag. Are you going to step on it? You better step on it. Yeah! And she stepped on it and put it out. This dog's name is Robo Carnegie. We're probably not going to steal Pam's dog because, you know, that's pretty low. That's something Pam would do. Pam would steal somebody's dog. Abby would never do that because she would never want anyone to break her heart by stealing her pet. So Abby's not going to steal the pet. But she is going to become friends with this little puppy dog, um, whose name is Robo Carnegie. She's going to go ahead and let him sniff her hand. She's going to, um, can she talk? To, and she's going to talk to him, and she's going to see if the dog will let her feed it a treat. Um, and that dog is digging a hole of some sort, it looks like. And he's just a cutie pie, isn't he? Well, let's just see. He's barking at her. He's sniffing her hand. That's good, good. Let's just see. Will he let her feed him a treat? I don't know if he will or not. Yes, he looks like he's going to. Oh, he's just a sweetie pie. Okay, alrighty. Now, um, Abby's going to go ahead. Let's just see. That person went back inside. Let's see if she can prank the front door. I guess the reason that um, she's going to, the reason that she went to the back door, I guess, why can't she do this? This house has recently been pranked. Try again later. Okay. Um, she wants to mock Pam. So she's going to go ahead um, and visit the Carnegie household and just see if Pam is here also. And if Pam is here, she's going to mock her and then she's going to take off. Is she going to go through the back door? Yeah, it looks like she's ringing the back doorbell. So I guess it's because this door is on the ground floor um, that for some reason the game thinks that this is the front door. I don't know. I hear people inside, but... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She is waiting outside. Not patiently, I must add. Are you going to let us in or not? <laughs> let us in. <laughs> Visit the Carnegie household. Let us in. We want to mock Pam Carnegie. This dog is digging a hole. And they're just letting him dig a hole. Little Robo Carnegie. Did these people leave? No, because we would not be able to um, even ring the doorbell. I guess they're not going to let us in because they were just pranked. So Abby's going to go ahead and go home. She is still feeling rather sick. She's going to go home uh, and see whether or not Brandon wants to go out to the summer festival. Oh, I did get the notification. I think I accidentally deleted it. No, I didn't. Today is Leisure Day, which is kind of strange because it is Saturday. And I thought Leisure Days were always a day of the week, but, you know, it really doesn't matter. Whatever. Uh, but she does want to visit the festival because I do believe that Leisure Day is probably the very last day of the summer festival. So she does want to go ahead and visit that. Um... Just driving home, and it's beautiful weather today, too, so they could not have asked for better better weather for Leisure Day. I hate it when it rains or, you know, whatever on Leisure Day. That's never good. 
But today is a beautifully gorgeous day. And she's feeling really good about everything, except for the fact that she is still nauseous. Nope, she's not nauseous anymore. Um, she's got, <laughs> you know, sp right when I said that, it looks like Abby's throwing up somewhere. Where is she? Where are you, Abby? I've lost you. There she is. And she threw up on the sidewalk. Um, and somebody's calling her. So she's going to go ahead and answer this phone call. And it is Brandon wanting to know where she is. <laughs> He's like, Abby, I woke up and you were gone. Um, what happened to you? Where'd you go? And she's like, oh, well, I had a little business I had to take care of. I had to go over and prank Pam Carnegie. And he's like, oh, okay, I get it. And so she's going to go ahead um, and ask Brandon if he wants to meet her at the festival. So let's just do that. Let's find the festival, first of all. Um, here's one. This is at Storybrook Central Park. Let's look and see which one we want to go to. Because I think there may be two. Or maybe not. The other park may not have a festival grounds. Let's see if it does or not. We've already been to the other park, though, um, and rode the carousel with Brandon. And I don't even know where I'm at. It's this way. We rode the carousel with Brandon. Uh, yeah, it has the summer festival too, but we're going to go to this one because we've already been to the other one. And let's see. I guess we need to um, call him up after we just hung up with him, of course. And we're going to ask him if he wants to go to the summer festival, if he wants to meet us there. So that's what we're going to do. Oh. And she's crazy about this guy. Um, she going to get back on her? She's probably going to go home where Brandon is <laughs> rather than calling him on the phone. That's what it looks like she's going to do. And she's thinking about him. Also, while they were sleeping last night, guys, Brandon kept dreaming about Abby, and Abby kept dreaming about Brandon. So I thought that was cute, too. Oh, and the mail's here. Um, and I do believe he said he would love to go hang out. We could go swimming or just have a nice chat. Um, and I do believe that Abby probably received... Um, some gemstones that she sent off to get cut in the mail today. So, um, mail person, please get out of our way so we can check our mail. And she does have mail, so she's going to go ahead and get mail. Um, and then they will go visit the summer festival on this beautiful, lovely leisure day. And she really does need this money um, from the things that she sent off to have cut. I think there were bloodstones that she found um, at the lair, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just see what she got in the mail. Okay, the mail contains um, gems returned from the gem cutters. An oval cut. Oh, it was a vampire's eye. Four of them. So let's go ahead and sell those and see how much they're worth. She has four of them. Oh, and they are worth 1,795 simoleons. And Abby's really hungry. Um. Has she already got the mac and cheese out? Don't get the mac and cheese out. You can eat at the festival. It would be much more fun to do that. So what she's going to do is she's going to hop, hippity hoppity hop <laughs> all the way over to the festival with Brandon um, and see what there is to eat there. I know they have hot dogs and hamburgers and things like that. She can even probably enter an eating contest if she wanted to. And we'll go ahead and drag this back into the refrigerator. It looks like she's not let go of it yet. Okay. So I have to wait for her to let go of it. Let's go. Okay. We'll drag this back in so that it doesn't spoil while we're gone. And Abby wants to take a photo with Brandon in the photo booth there. Um, she wants to become BFFs with him. And she wants to become BFFs with Kyle. Well, once you're romantically, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, I really don't think you can become BFFs. A sale has just started at the bookstore also. Well, that's good to know. Um, Abby's probably not going to buy any books right now, but you never know. 
she'll probably, if she wants to learn um, a skill from reading books, she will more than likely go to the library to learn the skill. Okay, so here we are at the festival, and Abby's going to go ahead and get herself something to eat, some festival food. Um, she could either buy something or she could grill something. What should she do? Where is the food? I'm just not seeing it. Okay, how can you have a summer festival without the food stands? Oh, there's the food stand right there. So Abby's going to go ahead. Um, she's going to buy some food because she is hungry. And you know what? A big juicy hamburger sounds so freaking good right now. I'd love to have one <laughs> right now. Either that or some tacos. That would sound really, that would taste really good. Or burritos. Or chips and salsa. Okay, I've got a hush. I have not had dinner yet. <laughs> and I'm making myself extremely hungry. Um, that This picture does not look like this person. At all. What's up with that? This looks like a guy and this looks like a girl. So, I don't get that at all whatsoever. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um, she's going to have a hamburger, I think. Um, she could have chili cheese fries. Nachos. Okay, making myself hungrier and hungrier. We're going to have a hamburger. There you go, 10 bucks. And Brandon is eating a snow cone. So he's kind of hungry too, I guess. And he's going to go over there and sit at the chess table while we're sitting at the picnic table. But whatevs. Uh, he doesn't want to sit with us. That's okay. But after Abby eats... She wants to go over and have her photo taken in the photo booth. Is this the photo booth or the tanning booth or face painting booth? I think that's face painting. Um, we'll have to find the photo booth. I think that's it right over there. And I think that she can get her photo taken with Brandon. So we'll just try that. Um, take greeting card photo with Brandon Hartford. Oh, she quit eating. I shouldn't have done that. Let's see if she's still hungry. Okay, well, um, she got her hunger satisfied, so that's good. And Brandon seems to be following her. Very good. So they are going to take a photo together, I hope. That's a great greeting card. You can share this with your community friends. Well, that's okay. We're not going to share it on the wall. What's she doing? She's going to practice golf. You know what, Abby? Um, let's not do that right yet. Let's go ahead and collect these wildflowers first. And then you can do whatever your little heart desires. Um, she's going to pick the daisy. The Indian blanket. They're worth pretty good money. Zelia's not, but we're going to pick it anyway. Sweet William is worth pretty good money. Let's see if there's anything else here. Then she's probably going to ask Brandon if he wants to go skating. I think that's what she's going to do. I don't see any more wildflowers here. Oh, yes, I do. She's going to go ahead and get this one. This is a Black Eyed Susan. Catch! Oh, there's a turtle here. Okay. She's going to catch this turtle. And then, then she will pick the black-eyed Susan. How about that? Did not even see that little turtle. Okay. And let's look right over here and make sure there's nothing over in this other grassy area. Okay. So, that's what she's going to do. She's going to go ahead um, and do all that good stuff. And then she's going to skate. And possibly, oh, okay, Brandon's already skating, so that's good. So she's going to skate also. And who are these people? That looks like that Derek Rockford or whatever. No, that's Brent Wellington, whoever that is, and Ava Wellington. Eva Wellington. Okay, she caught a turtle. That is uncommon, so that is very good. Should be worth some money. And she's skating. She's going to skate. Look, at Brandon is skating with some random, with this random dude, Brent Willington. That's kind of weird. Who's this? Barbar Barrows? Okay. 
And quit skating with my man, dude. I want to skate with my man. <laughs> Let's see if we can skate together. I guess we cannot at this moment. Um, that's okay. She'll skate with him when her skills get a little bit better. It's just kind of having to watch her feet right now and make sure she doesn't fall. And what is this that I'm seeing? This is... Is this that dog that we met? No, this is Spot Wellington, so he has an owner, too. Okay. Abby might adopt a pet. <laughs> now that she has a home, I think she's probably going to. What's the problem, Ab? She's wanting to skate with Brandon. Oh, she's skating with some random dude. Isaiah Orwell. I wonder if that's Erica or Orwell's father. I don't know, but she doesn't really need to be skating with an adult. Um, wonder if she could... Okay, she's just going to go ahead over here. Well, she can't do that, but I, I don't really want her skating with this adult because, you know, he might find out that she's a runaway. He might get suspicious and, and want to ask her about her parents or something. Uh Maybe she can skate with Brandon now. She's getting better at skating and hardly ever slips anymore. Let's just see. Why can't we skate with Brandon? I don't understand why we can't do it. Um, let go of this adult. Maybe after she lets go of the adult, she can skate with Brandon. Really? Let go of him. Hurry up and let go. They're just, she's not even letting go of this guy. Okay, well, she's falling down. And they're still skating. I don't know how to make them quit skating. Um. She, she's not going to be able to skate with him. That's okay. It's like... One of them stops skating with some random weird person, and the next one starts skating some with someone. Oh, not gonna do it. Okay. Uh huh. Well. So, uh -huh. I don't know who's this dude. Oh. Is this the guy we were just skating with, oh, Wellington dude, Brent Wellington? He's got the same hair as that as one of Abby's friends. So, you know, I don't know. I think she's probably going to <laughs> stop skating for a moment. And I'm just wondering if we could do something romantic with Brandon. And maybe he, if we kiss him, then maybe he'll quit skating with this guy and come and skate with us or something. I don't know. No, he's too busy skating with the green shorts guy. Which is okay. I really wanted him and Abby to skate together. Wanted to get a photo of it. But that is perfectly alright. What else can we do while we're here? Abby's going to... She's going to try playing the piano. Why not? Oh, wait. There's Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Um, skate. Brandon, so help me if you start skating with some other random person. Okay, now, let's find Brandon. Can we skate together? We can't skate with him. And we can't ask anybody. There are too many people skating here. We'll kiss my behind. Abby's going to go ahead and... And learn the piano skill while she's here. She wants to make a snow cone and become BFFs with Colin. Why? Why has? Okay, she wants to swim in the ocean as well, which um, she might do. And some guy is really showing out. That's the guy that uh, Brandon was skating with. Kyle. Wait a minute. Is that Kyle? That's Kyle Barrows. Brandon was skating with Kyle all this time. 
Um, dude, I think I'd be wearing some different kind of pants if I were you. Just saying. <laughs> Abby should have tried to skate with Kyle, too. But that's okay. Um, we're going to have Abby bang on the piano a little bit. But I'm not going to get too close to her because I really don't want to hear her banging. But I just thought it would be something fun for her to do. And speaking of fun, my fun will have to end here because it's time for me to say goodbye. But I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Runaway Teen Challenge. And I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are enjoying it, please let me know in the comments down below. Please leave me a like and please subscribe. I'll see you next time.